I have watched the Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay trailer way too many times. I mean, more than I can count. It's not, it's only been about 24 hours, and I cannot stop watching it. It is just that good. So please, if you haven't seen the gameplay trailer, please go check that out, and maybe come back to this video if you would like, and we can break down five things I noticed that maybe not everybody noticed about the trailer, because it took me multiple watches. The first one I have is Scorpion has a new weapon besides his kunai spear. And actually, one of the fatalities actually has two spears. I don't know if we can use both in game, but he has these two spears in the fatality. And if you look on his hip, he has this new, like, one-handed scythe weapon. It's like the spear with the rope and everything, but it's a scythe. It's like a, basically like a sickle, but more like a scythe blade. He used it a little bit in the gameplay, and we don't know much about it, but Scorpion's got a brand new weapon, and it looks amazing. I'm glad he's getting a new, some new stuff in his arsenal. Scorpion's always been one of my favorites, so it's really cool. I don't know how he'll use this weapon. I don't know if he can use it in fatalities. Uh, I tried to break down the trailer and find if there was customization, like where you could customize your spear or your, your scythe. But it looks the same in every uh, shot I could find of it. At the moment, we don't know if that customization system from Mortal Kombat 11 will be in Mortal Kombat 1. Personally, I hope it is, or at least in some capacity, because I loved being able to change these tiny gear pieces and then also change the skin. But I personally really liked it. I know a lot of people didn't like the augments and stuff like that, and it got a lot of backlash, but... I hope there's some form of gear customization in a way. So maybe the Scorpion Scythe will be customizable. That would be really cool. The next one we have, um, if you only watched the gameplay trailer that was on YouTube after the Summer Game Fest, you most likely didn't see this because it was after uh, the trailer, Ed Boon came up on stage and revealed that Scorpion and Sub-Zero are brothers. I'll, I'll play the clip. This is why we're calling it Mortal Kombat 1 is because this is the beginning of a new timeline. A number of these characters you've seen before, but they're told in a completely different story. And so Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers now. Now, he doesn't specify if he means blood brothers or like clan brothers or, you know, just they act like brothers, you know, because they seem to be allies in this one with they're both Lin Kuei. I don't know if they're actually brothers by blood, but when their mask is off at uh, some point in the trailer, they do look pretty similar. So... I'm thinking they're Blood Brothers, and personally, I think that's amazing. I always wanted to see Sub-Zero and Scorpion as, like, friends. Getting that, but they're brothers, that's going to be so cool. So I hope that is what Ed Boon was saying, and not their clan brothers. But either one I'm happy with. So that one's one some people may have missed if they didn't watch the after show. The next one we have, I didn't catch until probably my fourth watch, honestly. It's when, it's when Melina and Katana are doing the Clash animation before the match starts. They're having some banter, and Melina refers to her throne. I only want what's best for you, or do you secretly covet my throne? There was a fan theory going around that Melina was the Empress of Adenia, and I think this basically confirms it. There's also a few other clips I saw today. In the background of one of the maps, it looks like Melina is sitting on a throne, so that even confirms it more. So yeah, Melina is now the Empress of Adenia, which is really cool. I think that's one some people may have missed unless they watched a few times. At least for me, it did. So maybe a lot of people know about this one. Maybe not. But this one I wanted to include because I didn't notice it. And I think it's a really neat detail. And I think it's going to really add a new level to Melina's character. I'm a big fan of Melina. I'm a huge fan of Katana. Katana's one of my favorites. I can't wait to see Katana and Melina's uh, relationship unfold throughout the story. And I can't wait to play both of them. I'm, I'm a huge fan of both. Our fourth detail. This one... It's very quick, and I've seen people talk about it. I saw it on Twitter. I also didn't notice this one at all. My first, like, couple of watches, I actually had to see it on Twitter. But after, when Ed Boon is talking, and there's a little bit of gameplay in the background, again, if you only watch the YouTube video trailer, then you probably didn't see the Ed Boon talk. And they're, when they're picking the map for the, the, the match going to play in the background, it there's a day-night for the two maps available. There's a day night for the tea house. For Johnny Cage's penthouse, it says sunset, and I'm guessing the other one might be nighttime or maybe like bright day, broad daylight. I'm not for sure. But they both have two variations. Hopefully, almost every map in the game will have that. That would be just mind blowing. We've seen the past maps get different variations and, and such, but never to the level of mult like like the majority of maps having a day night cycle. So if we do get that, that's going to add a ton of new detail to the arenas. And there's even a lot more detail to the arenas I'll get in a minute. That's an extra uh, detail I would like to mention. That I I'm sure a lot of people noticed, but I just want to 
talk about it because I'm just so fascinated by it. So yeah, the stages will have day-night cycles, at least two of them. And then the two in the, I'm guessing, will be in the beta. If both of the maps in the beta are day-night, I feel like there's going to be a lot in the main. Like, I don't think in the other betas they did that. I don't think your beta maps or the showcase maps had different variations. I, I can't wait to see those in action. Uh, there's so many good maps in this trailer. We're, we're going to go over one more. That's all I had to say. Day and night slash sunset, morning, whatever it was on the penthouse one. That's confirmed for at least two maps already. So, and I'm hoping, and I'm pretty confident a lot more maps will have that. So my next one, my fifth one, is Fatal Blows are still a thing. Uh, they're not really showcased in the trailer. You know, they do their Fatal Blows, but... I think some people might, at least I did, was it was connected to that the meter, uh, and they got rid of Fatal Blows this year. It was back to, like, the x-ray system of MKX, where you had just, like, the three bars. Once you hit it to the top, you could do your, uh, your super. But now, it seems like Fatal Blows are still a thing, which I don't know if a lot of people like. I didn't mind the Fatal Blows. I don't, I'm not sure what the community's opinion on Fatal Blows are, so if you have an opinion, if you'd like to share it, I'd love to hear it. Personally, I don't really care which one we get fatal blows not fatal blows i'm still gonna have fun regardless i still think the animations are crazy so i i don't mind it i don't mind it either way but yes fatal blows are in the game they weren't really confirmed in the trailer or the ed boon show except right at the end of the ed boon talk when the gameplay is about to go off if you pause it the person on the right side health gets to 30 percent or what i would assume is 30 percent like it was in mk11 and a little thing at the bottom with the blood splatter says like, it's hard to read, but I'm pretty sure it says Fatal Blow. And if it doesn't, today, uh, YouTubers were able to play. And I watched one of them play it, Uncaged Games. Go check his video out. It's great. You got to play it early. And if you look at his video, it's clear that the Fatal Blow is in the game. It was hard to see in the, the uh, Ed Boon talk, but it's clear in these, these official gameplay. So yeah, Fatal Blows are back. I don't know if a lot of people noticed that. It's very hard to pick up from the... Uh, the Ed Boon section, <clears throat> excuse me, unless you pay really close attention or you pause it a lot. I noticed it not too long ago. I was making, I was going to see if it was in there and it was. And then, but yeah, that's it. That's my five things you may have missed in the trailer. I've never done a video like this, so please bear with me. I just, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan and I really want to start making videos on Mortal Kombat. Uh, won't be my main focus, but when the game officially launches, expect a good amount of Mortal Kombat videos. Uh, whether I'm just talking about some some cool stuff like I am now or talking about leaks or talking just just talking about the franchise I, I love the franchise I grew up on it so yeah bear with me if this video isn't as high quality as some of the other videos or maybe my five things you missed aren't great and maybe you didn't notice them I'm very I'm very new to doing this uh style of video so yeah these are the five things you may have missed may have not missed I have one last thing to touch up on this is not included with the five the arena depth is insane uh, if you look at these arenas I don't know if a lot of people really care about it as much as I do. It is groundbreaking what these arenas are doing. I'll show it. I'm going to compare them to the Mortal Kombat 11 arenas as well. If you look at them side by side, the Crypt Island map that's playable in Mortal Kombat 11, I'm going to put that up on screen. That's a good one. The detail's good, right? It's a good, it's a good looking map. It has a lot of detail, a lot of work put into it. But like, if you look in the background, far in the background, you can see like shadows of buildings and stuff. The depth is pretty good. Like, the, the three-dimensional aspect of these maps are pretty good. I enjoyed the Mortal Kombat 11 maps. Not my favorite. Personally, MK9 has some of my favorite maps. Uh, I replayed them recently, and I was just mind-blown by how cool and detailed they were, especially for how old that game is now. Uh, and MKX has some also great maps. And MK11's maps were good, too. I didn't I, I, I didn't complain about them personally. Maybe some people had problems with them, but I, I didn't. I enjoyed them all. MK1, I think, will have some of the best maps in, in terms of detail, Take the tea house map for example if you look at that the amount of three dimensional layers and depth on that map is just incredible it goes far so far back and I'll, I'll even zoom in in when i edit this it goes so far back it is crazy no i've never seen something like that before and it, another map would be the uh the johnny cage penthouse map the opening where the pool is you can see so far back and it looks so good the scale is crazy crazy i mean it's layers upon layers upon layers of detail that i just haven't seen before in a fighting arena um i don't know if y'all be as fascinated as i am by it i'm a big fan of like level design and like map design and just er everything about that i'm a big fan of like how they're they're done and stuff so personally 
it, I'm fascinated by it. Maybe you're not. Uh, if y'all want more stuff like this, I'm going to try to cover uh, more Mortal Kombat leaks and stuff as they come out. Um, and any news that comes out for release, I'm going to try to cover. Maybe in some shorter videos, really short videos, something. I just, just want to cover the game. I, I love the franchise. I want to cover it more. I want to be more involved with the community and stuff. And really just enjoy this this experience uh mortal kombat 1 is the first game i've ever bought a collector's edition for that's how excited i am and the gameplay did not disappoint me so i'm excited i i got it uh pre-ordered mine so i can't wait for that to get here when it gets here maybe i'll do an unboxing of it but yeah it's gonna do it for this video thank you all so much for watching let me know your thoughts on all these five uh things you may have missed and let me know your thoughts on the gameplay let me know if you liked it I, I, I want to hear y'all's opinion. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan and you stumbled upon this, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to try to do more Mortal Kombat content. So, leave your thoughts down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.